Hi there, interior designer Place here and welcome to my channel. Today uh, we are back in uh, Rebuilding Foundry Cove, uh, part 2 in this series where I'm rebuilding Foundry Cove in Willow Creek. And we start this speed build off with me having a play around with the walls and the windows and getting everything feel right and getting this same vibe that we had next doors going again for this house. We are building a smaller family home uh, that has two bedrooms and one and a half bathroom. Uh, it's on a smaller lot so it's normal that it's a bit smaller. And so I started off placing the windows, um, not getting the right vibe that I wanted, uh, really actually struggling to get the vibe that I wanted. Uh, but then once we start putting in the, the, the big windows in the back and the, the kitchen window so it doesn't stay like this, um, it really gets actually quite interesting because I found this, this um, inspiration picture on Pinterest uh, of a kitchen and I basically wanted to recreate that uh, with, this, uh, with this new pack. Uh, this interior designer pack and this kitchen is almost the same and it's this picture of this narrow house uh, with this huge I mean, big door window going out to the backyard and just these two sides of shelving it looks amazing um, and so I wanted to recreate that uh, so let's see how it turns out and let me know if you like it uh, good no so we start off here with the stairs that I wanted to have then curved uh, which in the end had to change because it didn't perfectly work out as I wanted it to be. Um, but yeah, this this we move here to the small room and then we extend it and then windows and then yeah, it's it's it was quite challenging because I normally don't. First of all, I normally don't build fully CC free. Uh, but I thought for this I should try it and really it surprised me that I could do these things with just only the the this Maxis builds. Uh, so I'm very happy with it. And then here what you see is uh, again the same thing which we also have in the other houses, this sort of like uh, porch area with a roof over it where you can sit, where you're uh, protected from the rain uh, but also yeah still outside fine uh, I don't know where I was going with that but so it's also in the front of the house which comes back to this what I explained in my in the first uh, part of this series so if you haven't watched it check it out I explain what the vibe is behind this uh, these construction uh, these new constructions, really what the idea is behind this redeveloping of uh, Foundry Cove. Um, but so this gives again this, this open vibe and I would imagine the people here uh, spending time or spending a lot of time in the, in the house of or in the garden of the neighbors. So as you can see, uh, I've been blabbing away, not paying any attention to the video. We put in the kitchen, which really resembles um, the kitchen in the house next door. It's the same shelving, the same concept with the stove on one end and then the oven on the other end. And so these low shelves surrounded by these, these yellow cabinets. And then we move on to this, well, I wouldn't call it formal dining area, but since it's separated, this, this formal dining area, which looks actually quite nice uh, if you look at it from the street. With this carpet, it gives a very relaxed, um, relaxed vibe and then with this wallpaper that lifts the room up because it's it's half um, half this darker but I would imagine plaster uh, with on this lighter piece on top it really lifts the room and then we hang these paintings here uh, and these swatches I really like they're like these abstract um, modern paintings like them a lot and then I was looking for some curtains because I thought maybe at Christmas you want to be able to close the curtains uh, 
but then I decided against it. I thought this transparency really fits uh, with the, the vibe. And then I did this interesting composition here with these planters, uh, this painting, and then this small side table. Standing at, yeah, it, this, this dining area worked out very well, I find. Very simple, uh, but yeah, worked out very well. Um, but then, yeah, I changed on the wallpaper here too, because then didn't feel very wide and then I want to change the room because then I didn't like the size but then we lost the vibe of this inspiration image that I found so we left it like this and then we move on to the living room in which I uh, again played uh, I think actually with the modular uh, shelving again from uh, the interior design pack and then I put this uh, little couch here where you can put your shoes on um, before you leave the house or take them off or just wait uh, until um, the other person you live here with is ready or wait until the taxi comes around. Um, yeah, it's just this, this chill area. And I put this little side table here uh, with these flowers on to give this like a, a homey vibe and then this big potted plant outside. I mean, these flowers, I never found these flowers, uh, but I like them. I've been using them in a lot of my builds. And then I put this, this 70s vibe couch with these uh, bright pillows on them uh, in this living room, which actually doesn't have a TV, uh, but it looks out on, on this river, which I, as I said in the previous video, I like a lot. I like the vibe of this, of this whole area. Um, looks out on the garden, looks out on this on this waterway, on this back path. Um, yeah, and I would imagine that this area would not be cheap. If you look around a bit, uh, you can see the, the big city there. Um, so I would imagine you're in the suburbs uh, of whatever big city this is. And there are going again with these modular shelves. Uh, putting in some lights, a bit of clutter items, but not too much, so that still, when you download these uh, from the gallery, uh, description is in, uh, is in the description, well, the link is in the description below, Jesus. Um, yeah, so that you can still fill them up with pictures or artwork that the children made or that uh, your sims made. Um, yeah, so to really get this this personal vibe in the house, I think this is so important. A house is, well, a home is only a home when you make it a home. Sounds a bit cheesy, but out of experience, it is true. As a as a designer, you can do a lot, but still, the living there only actually starts when the people move in and put in their items and their clutter items and their pictures and their family pictures and. A, a tag from their first dog it just gives this very realistic vibe to a house and then I put in some shoes just to give the idea that somebody could live here some boxes uh, yeah I found yeah then I put the salt and pepper there to give this kitchen at least a bit of feeling again this llama or whatever it is that I like a lot um, this open cookie pot yes I I look for, for small things. As I said, I play a lot with CC, so it was a bit limiting. But I liked it. And then some umbrellas, because I always forget the umbrellas, but then when I played, I played the other day, and then it started raining, and then I thought, oh, um, I actually, I could have used some umbrellas. So as you can see, I'm putting a, a small divider here, where we will have, again, uh, a grill and some like an outdoor kitchen. But still very open. I mean, if you would peek around the corner, you would really be able to see into your neighbor's garden. So I think it takes a, a, a specific person to live here. I personally would not like to live here. Um, I think I'm more the secluded person. I would also never really like to live in, in, in the suburbs, but then, yeah, fine. No, and then I put this big table here, so if your neighbors would then come over, you could host, and then these planters on the walls, I thought they might be interested in, in 
in um, yeah in like gardening or stuff. And there is where I make this front uh, front roof seating area with these um, these very nice well, very nice these couches. Uh, yeah, it creates it gives a very a distinct feeling to the front of the house. Uh, and yeah, some uh, trash bag. Uh, some trash can uh, as uh, as I said in the previous one also it gives this this very um, yeah this very suburban feeling and then I use these um, I didn't talk about it in the previous one but I use these uh, roof tiles uh, that are actually I believe the solar ones oh yes and then I continue this this row of trees to give it a bit the feeling that it all belongs together and that it's all just one developer who came here, uh, put all these things together and and switched it all. Uh, but really just designed it all together without any, not really much of a personal touch really. So then we're here at the landing area where I put a little desk because I didn't find a place um, anywhere else in the house to have like a desk. And I go for this very, uh, very light pastel pinkish vibe, um, which makes this room, you will see it in the screenshots at the end, also very, very soft, very relaxed. And then I uh, put this bunk bed here, this chair, um, which I didn't see before, but then uh, I was watching a, a review of the pack and then I saw this chair and I said, good, I should actually use this. Um, we had the master bedroom with this uh, little seating area in front where you can put your shoes on or whatever um, before you leave the house. Um, yeah, and then I wanted to make a desk, but that didn't really work. There was not enough space. And then these paintings that actually really match with everything else in the in the pack. And then this, yeah, this lamp, which is very interesting. Uh, it's almost like an artwork uh, in itself. And yeah, I think we're moving on. In this one, I did manage to fit in a bath, which uh, I especially looked out for because in the previous one, I really wanted to put in a bath uh, in, in this house, but it just would not work. And I didn't want to change the outside too much. Um, yeah, and then again, I moved the couch a bit forward, which makes it a bit tense. This very, yeah, pastel vibe upstairs. A little kitty pond, uh, kitty pool actually, because I felt that uh, the neighbors have this huge pool, and so I would imagine that it would be quite the climate which would need a pool. And then I thought, well, then they would probably also have like something small uh, in the garden if the neighbors are not at home um, or if they could not go there. Yeah, and then I create this very interesting composition. Well, composition is a big word. This very interesting get together of the small table with this painting there at the stairs um, with this small planter and these boxes. I like it a lot. And then I put these uh, eco lifestyle uh, vines here which block it a bit off from view but still uh, have it open and we are on to the screenshots i hope you enjoyed it uh, please leave some comments feedback down below give it a like if you like it and i hope to see you back in the next one bye